over the break for a little bit, we were talking about draft philosophy, what Brad Holmes has done in the draft. And right now, with his free agent moves and everything that he's brought in, he pretty much can do whatever the hell he wants in the draft. He can go best player available. He can just take what he needs when he needs it. And he's got four first or four picks in the first two rounds. So what do you guys think that Brad Holmes is going to do with his draft this year? Well, whatever it is, he's going to double up. Because when you look at him, he's a double upper. I'm going to draft a defensive tackle here. I'm getting a defensive tackle right there. Um, I sign one uh, cornerback. I sign another one. And then the third one. <laughs> so he at least doubles up. So we got to figure out. Lions don't need two more quarterbacks. Mm -hmm. So he's not going to double up there. <laughs> So it would probably make sense he would double up with linebackers. Mm -hmm. But he may not double up because Lions, there's, they, I mean, there's so many ways that they can go. But if he's going to do the double up or the double back, whatever you want to call it, it'd probably be linebackers this year. Yeah. Well, he's, he's not made many mistakes, so we can't criticize him for whatever he decides to do, right? Right. I would like them. I would like them to get the kid out of Georgia with the baggage. Jalen oh. Carter. I I am not afraid of Jalen Carter. Me either. Me either. Me either. I may be a little shaky, but um, I mean, let's look at what Jalen Carter did. He was drag racing. Okay. All the boys down south on the weekend drag, drag race. race. Sometimes cars flip. Sometimes cars, their passengers die. That's what they, remember the Duke boys? That's what they do down there. So and see, people, and people don't understand. Oh, they do it up here too. Of course. Right. Right on, uh, what, the highway over there. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Stevenson Highway. Yeah. Uh, my local one was the White Castle on uh, Warren and Livinois. That yeah. was, and on the weekend, man. Was, mm, mm, mm. Right. That's what they did. In East Lansing, they used to drag race Lamborghinis down Grand River. It'd be two in the morning. You just hear, mm, mm. I'm like, damn. whoa, damn. Yeah. Yep, in Mount Pleasant, they drag race with pickup trucks. <laughs> <laughs> Going 40 miles an hour. So it wasn't that exciting. Yeah. But no. So there's an accident. Two people get killed. He's like, okay, yo, I don't want to be involved in this. I'm out of here. Now, part of the reason it could have been, um, a lot of times athletes, I'm about to be drafted. I don't want to be involved with anything. Right. right. No, that's that that's true. It's controversial. So I'm just going to disappear and come back later. Maybe they, they won't. So he did that. So that's not a red flag to me. Well, he doesn't have character. No, he's trying to protect his career. And then, at that age. And, and at that age, yeah. He's, no, it's yeah. not like he's 30. He's 21 <laughs> years old. So then he has his workout, and he's fat. <laughs> he gained nine pounds in a week. So what that meant, he was out partying, having a good time. Probably wasn't focused on that because he's like, I'm Jalen Carter. I'm a, a top five, top six pick. They're not going to. You know, I could still do my workouts, but he couldn't get through it. He was fat. He was huffing and puffing. Now, that doesn't scare me either because, one, he's a great talent. And guess what? As soon as his ass is drafted, they're going to put him in a weight room. They're going to give him a trainer. They're going to give him a dietitian, And that person is going to be with him the whole summer. By the time the regular season starts, he might be five pounds underweight. You don't know. So that doesn't scare me either. Now, if he comes back next week and shoots somebody, <laughs> kicks his girlfriend's ass out in public. Or delivers a gun to somebody. Oh, yeah, or delivers a gun. <laughs> uh, or something like that. Right. Then I will get scared. So far, what I've seen, concern, but, but doesn't not, scare me off. Right. Right, and, and his film, you got to look at what he did right. this past season. Jumps, It jumps off the screen. It does. You know. Lindsay, here, here's, here's what I find cute about football. Like, you can ball out for 12 games during the regular season, mm -hmm. and everybody's like, oh, man, this dude is good. Then you bring him back two months after the season ends, put him in some 
a little panty girdles, a white beater, and tell him to run around in circles, and he doesn't do it right, and then you, I'm going to drop him. I'm going to drop you. You're right. so right. Yeah. And I've, I've been part of these, um, uh, these workout things. I tell you, the best – I've been to a few with quarterbacks. The best one I ever saw was Brian Hoyer <laughs> at Michigan not. State. Hell yeah. This dude on his pro day was ridiculous. He was dropping <laughs> dimes. No, no, I mean, no, he was hitting no. slow dudes in stride. He was hitting quick dudes in stride, everything. But guess what? He didn't have a rush. Right. He's in his T-shirt, has a little Michigan State shirt on, no pressure. He just was wonderful. I said, damn, this guy is not only going to make the NFL, he's going to be a star. If I had only based it on what I saw there. Right. Fortunately, I also got to see him play <laughs> for Michigan State that year. And so I didn't go in and say, hey, this is Brian Hoyer, man. He's going to really turn, tear it up in the NFL. Because I saw what he does when people are blitzing him. When uh, people got pads on, it's a lot different. Greatest backup well, of all time. Well, the 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 the, the quarterback. For, uh, evidently, we know the quarterback for the Jets, who they said his workouts. Zach they were, Wilson. Oh man, they were announcing he was the next Aaron Rodgers. Mm -hmm. Right. Because mm -hmm. they were like, oh my God, did you? They were showing on ESPN. He was running left, and he threw a pass back to the right, and it was like money. They were like, oh my God. Did his, you see Tom Brady's workout? Probably was horrendous. He looked like some dude that you can get off the street. <laughs> if you get a six foot two dude with little bony legs and tell him to run, that was Tom Brady. Right. <laughs> you wouldn't even touch him. Right. Now the greatest quarterback in history. Right. Right. So I'm not saying you totally discount those. But no. in basketball, you don't have that. You play your games, you might play in some all-star games and right. stuff like that. But they don't have you do workouts. Except, well, I tell you what, I tell you what. Yes, they do. Yeah. I take that back. Yeah. Kevin Durant. Kevin Durant could not lift 180 pounds. Yeah, he, mm -hmm. I, they say he couldn't lift the bar. Yeah. Right, couldn't lift the bar. <laughs> okay. Based on that, you would say, I don't want him. That's probably Lamar Odom went before him. But when I saw Kevin Durant play in a game. Yeah. And He's seven feet. And Odom from play in a game. I'm like, nah, you got to take Kevin Durant. But you got to remember back then because Odom played, it took his team to the championship with one hand. He, he had a broken them. hand. Mm -hmm. he, had a broke, he had a broken game, too. <laughs> <I was> Terry, <laughs> <laughs> he was okay. He was pretty good. No. Uh, uh, no back then, good. okay. Back okay then, don't mean the number one You're right. Pick. Back then, though. Back then, and, and, and that's been kind of status quo when a big is that good. He was agile. He could move. He could shoot left, right hand. He was, you know, block shots, rebound, all that. When a big is that good, he automatically gets the nod. Right. If, if it's even close. And because I watched KD in college at Texas, I was like, yo, this dude is ridiculous. I'm like, mm -hmm. where did they get this kid from? A seven-footer. Right. He's skinny, but I was like, nobody can stop him. Right. Mm -hmm. You know? Um, but then you watch. Um, and then now later on we found out that the point guard was a big part of why mm -hmm. Ohio State was really good. Right. You know, point guard can set you up exactly, and 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 then you know when when my man got to Portland, he just why did he gain so much weight? Like I, I guess he thought he had to be bigger to be in the NBA because yeah, he blew hey. up. Yeah, you you need to blow up, but you need to be chiseled. muscle. Yeah, yeah we muscle, need, not we fat. need muscle. We don't need a pudge. You oh, know? You, you you remind me of one of my favorite all time players, Oliver Miller. Oh, <laughs> Oliver Miller. I don't know why. Speaking of every punch. year. Oliver Miller was listed at 295 pounds. Because that's what he told them. Bull Loney. 295. 295. He, yeah, not the way he talked. He had to be. He was 350. If that. But I remember uh, Charlie Vincent, who wrote a column for the Free Press, called Oliver Miller fat. Oh. And Oliver Miller was so <laughs> upset. And he didn't know who Charlie Vincent was. So... We go into the locker room, and Oliver Miller said, Hey, hey, are you Charlie Vincent from the Free Post? Are you? Hey, everybody, are you Charlie Vincent from the Free Post? He said, Ain't nobody called me fat but my mama. <laughs> Dude, you know he moved He moved next door to me and Alan, right? I didn't when know When we first that. got here, we were living in Southfield. Mm -hmm. So 
you know, we invite him in, try to be nice to him, go over mm. to his house, hang out, like, yeah, what's up, man? Welcome to the neighborhood. <laughs> so we're sitting in his house. This dude puts a full package of hot dogs in them and starts cooking them. <laughs> so I'm like, okay, hey, man, you want a hot dog? Nah, I'm good, bro. Starts eating the hot dogs without bread. Oh, man. Oh, wow. <laughs> <laughs> well, low carb. Low carb. <laughs> <laughs>